Heroes emerge in clutch situations when hundreds of thousands of dollars are on the line. How sick is this round for him and he's looking for the ace, the first ace! My name is Brayden and welcome to Valve Guides. This video is brought to you by Skin Silo. You can sign up on the mobile app or the website today. You can earn CSGO skins or PUBG skins just by downloading apps, completing tasks, or referring new members. The app is available for Android right now, but if you don't have Android, don't sweat it. You can still use the website. Earn credits, climb the leaderboards, and withdraw better skins. Use our referral code guides to get 250 credits for free to get started. Players put on a great display of skill, tactics, and knowledge when they know they could go home with half a million dollars or nothing at all. He gets shut down, but Hobbit's got to find two more. Oh, Same angle! Oh. Same angle! Oh my god, Hobbit! Here are our top 10 $100,000 plays. Cold Zero's jumping double at MLG Columbus. To work with. Here he comes once again. The first base is a trend. He's going to hit the ground. We know this play is used in literally every frag movie on YouTube. But regardless, this play helped change Luminosity's fortunes in the tournament. Facing map point and down six rounds, Cold Zero four spot an op and headed for B abs on Mirage. As you guys all know, Cold Zero pulled off this magical play that helped Luminosity win the first ever million dollar major. Here he comes once again. The first base is a trend. He's going to hit the ground. There's Cold. Oh! oh! Jumping double from Cold! What is there going on right now? How does he do this? Fur's ace in the grand finals of ESL1 Cologne 2017. Do it, Fur. Five kills, an ace to start it off. Brilliant from him. With the best of five finals being 1-0 in favor of SK, the second map was Train. SK were down 10 to 5 and heading for second half, needing to win in pistol round to have a realistic chance for a comeback. First stepped up to the challenge and got an ace while on A side. Stewie, the one that's up close. Good shot to start it off. Looks for a second, but Fur, he's able to line to push SK back off the old bomb train. Meanwhile, though, Cold's gotten in a great position as Fur executes oh. Skadoodle and then. Excuse me, nothing, and then Skadoodle, the bomb gets planted, it's onto Shroud, it does get one back. That kill from Shroud will pull the other two back in, though. And if they can play off the information, there's a chance, but it's Shroud in the last pistol that was the hero this time, he can't do it. Fur, five kills, an ace to start it off, brilliant from him. Taz's 1v2 clutch in the third map of the finals at DreamHack Masters Las Vegas. Teammate directly beside him, Taco work together, but they don't go at the same peak! Oh! oh! With the score at 13 to 12 and both VP and SK having no money left in the bank, the team that won the round would have a great chance of winning the $450,000 tournament. On the final map of Mirage, VP's execute was shut down on A site. This left Taz in a 1v2 with both players coming from T spawn. Very important that he gets it, but Phelps is aggressive. I'm impressed with how aggressive he's been in this series. Certainly warming up to the fact that he's on SK and he's got a teammate directly beside him. Taco work together, but they don't go at the same peak. Oh! Taz! The devil strikes and Taz ties the game. Olaf Meister's 1v2 collateral at Katowice 2016. Dennis and Olaf is miles away from this action. They don't have a smoke, so this over still. Oh! oh! With the first map of the Grand Finals, Overpass, and Overtime, Olaf found himself in a 1v2 with the bomb planted on a site. With Olaf being outside of bathrooms, all he had to do was scope onto bomb, but he didn't expect two enemies to be in his sights, and with one op shot, Olaf killed both of the CTs, tying the score at 17. And they managed to get onto the site, Fnatic. Eight seconds and that bomb will get planted. What a close call right now, and LG, I mean, they're on the spot to go in for a retake here. Fur moving up, trying to play the edge of the smoke, but he can't really spot out anybody. JW coming in with one more kill. There's Cold Zero coming in. Fur as well now. It's back into a two on two. Fur gonna go for the beat. He gets a shot on Dennis and Olive is miles away from this action. They don't have a smoke, so this orb is still a oh! Cold Zero's three-man spray down in the final matchup of IEM Sydney 2017. Marco, he's got Cold walking in next. SK were down 5-3 on the fourth map of the series, Overpass. The bomb was planted on B site and Cold Zero was positioned in the Monster Tunnel. FaZe had killed two of his teammates in the retake, leaving Cold in a 1v3. With one swift peek, Cold Zero was able to spray all three CT players down. After this, SK took the momentum and never looked back, capturing the series 3-1 and 100 thousand dollars spot for he just needs to stay alive bait him at a further angle but he's got not a lot of room to work with this is molotov down and nico has two more don't let him come alive that's gonna be scary look at the shot on taco he's got cold walking in next but oh my goodness 
Right up the hat trick and pull the rabbit from the hat. It's all done. SK get their fourth. Nico's crispy shots during the finals of ESL1 New York 2017. So two to see in this one. Oh, the auto sniper that gives it liquid their best chance, except that Nico still in the back of the site. And he's got accuracy. He's got oh my god. Holding Fountain on B-Site Inferno, Team Liquid began to stream into Nico's crosshair, and Nico, being Nico, tapped three enemies down in a matter of seconds to secure the round for FaZe. Off of the back of this nutty round by Nico, FaZe was able to decimate Liquid in the finals, making $125,000. Here we go, deep breath, don't even check the booster power, oh. but there it is, Nitro gets his first, and it will be Nico to find him at the same time. The deck that doesn't work out, JDM finds the third frag. Kerrigan dies in the last rounds. So two to see in this one. Oh, the auto sniper that gives it liquid their best chance, except that Nico's oh, still in the back of the site. And he's got accuracy. He's got. Oh my oh. god. Get he off the server. He does not even need full ammunition. Give him half. Give him 15 bullets for the AK at this point in time. Eh? Hobbit's insane clutch during the third map of the grand finals at the Krakow Major. He gets shut down, but Hobbit's got to find two more. Oh, Save oh, angle! Oh. Save angle! Gambit were unsuccessfully holding the post plant on B-Site Inferno in a crucial round of the match. Already with one kill, Hobbit was left in a 1v3 just outside of sight by Coffins. With every player coming graveyard, Hobbit quickly headshotted the first player before spraying down both of the remaining CTs. Gambit went on to win the match and the most recent major, making an insane $500,000 in the process. He was found in this position last time, another good flash. Again, he sits in the open, he's gonna have to rethink that post plant. That, this setup is getting torn apart. Lucas back in again, the third kill on the way through. He gets shut down, but Hobbit's got to find two more. Oh, Same oh, angle! Oh. Same angle! Oh my god, Hobbit! What was that? Zipic's mind-boggling clutch at the E-League Major Grand Finals. Yes. This is not easy. Bialy way out in the open. He gets shot down. Zipix with the one on three clutch. Oh my god. In the second half of a very close map two, Astralis needed Zipix to clutch the round or they would become broke and most likely lose the map and series. Zipix used his godlike game sense to outsmart VP around the connector area on overpass to secure the clutch for his team. Astralis ended up winning the major, racking in $500,000. He's going to be turning his back and down to one health. Bialy with the patience play coming out. Flashbang is in there now. 25 seconds. Headshot coming in from Sipnix. What could Bialy do? He has to find the bomb and make his way onto a site and look at the angle here. This is not easy. Bialy way out in the open. He gets shot down. Sipnix with the one on three clutch. Oh my god. One health left. What a god. Simple's 1v4 clutch in the grand finals of ESL1 New York 2016. No kit, does have armor if he could just grab an AK. Okay, wait, Simple's gonna go. That's enough. He's got two one taps. He's feeling it. Deagle shots in. He's picked up an AK as well, and he's electing to stay with the pistol. Simple, he's up to the third, and the AK pulled out. Oh my god, Simple. Starting off with only a Deagle in the back lanes of train, Simple had very little chance of making something happen. Despite the thin odds, Simple won deep two opponents before bursting another down in close range. Navi were able to take the momentum from this play and close out the map in the series, which netted $125,000. Of the A site, Simple is going to rotate back by Old Bomb. It's Guardi that goes down. Simple's going to hold up, but he won't get spotted just yet. It may catch Bialy off, does with an Eagle shot, lovely so. The bomb planted. No kit, does have armor if he could just grab an AK. Okay, all right, Simple's gonna go. That's enough, he's got two one taps, he's feeling it. Deagle shots in, he's picked up an AK as well and he's electing to stay with the pistol. Simple, he's up to the third and the AK pulled out. Oh my God, Simple. Decrees Deagle ace during the final series of IEM Katowice 2017. Whoa, how sick is this round for him and he's looking for the ace. With phase and control of the map and series, Astralis needed a miracle to happen if they wanted to win. Well, their wish came true in the form of Dupree. With only a deagle in the short position on overpass, Dupree killed every member of FaZe with stunning accuracy. Because of Dupree's heroics, Astralis were able to come back and take the map before the whole series, getting $100,000. Oh, that is also flashed off. Deagle works, though. Limited vision, limited it. weapons. Does it even matter, Dupree? Oh, the fourth as well. How sick is this round for him? And he's looking for the eighth.
guys so much for staying around until the end of the video and thank you for spreads for writing it you can go follow him on twitter at spreads 15 underscore you can see it on screen and let him know if you agree or disagree with the list i apologize if i sound a little more monotone than usual guys i'm a bit under the weather this past week thank you guys for bearing with me i had a good time making this video i hope you had a fun time watching it stay amazing and i'll see you in the next video Thank you.